All right, so for this class, we're going to need a little bit more material. So I'm going to give you a minute to get that. You can have any object with a flat bottom and a relatively even weight. This is an edger for painting uh, trims on ceilings and stuff. It's clean because we're going to balance it on our foot. So you can get a cup, a small pillow. I don't recommend a glass cup. A plastic cup would be best. Uh, a book. Um, and any object you have lying around. Uh, this is uh, my office, so I have the box for a, uh, a DVD burner to attach to my computer right here. Uh, any of the any object like this that would go on your foot is fair game. So we're going to do this uh, not right now, but in a little bit. So any object like these, uh, or a cup, or a big foam dice would be great. I recommend something without a round bottom. Now don't leave just because we're we're going to do this because it's going to be fun. Chip, kunye. Make sure you clear your space. You have your chair object to hold on to, and nothing in front of you, behind you, to the side, or to the other side. And let's do this thing. Jumbi! Step out to a horse stance, stick out your punch. On my count, double punch. Down, up, down, up, down. Ready? One. Two. Upside down till the end. Three. Toes to the front, knees bent. Four. Abigail, punch your toes to the front. You too, Mal. Five. Good. Keep that fist upside down until the end. Pull all the way back. Six. Keep your wrist straight. Don't let it angle up. Seven. Good. Breathe. Eight. Down, up, down, up, down. Nine. Ten. Good. Both punches on one side wave. So it's going to be fast like this. But with one drop. Down, up, down. Ready? One, two, three. Don't come back up. Four, down, up, down. Stay. Five, down, up, down. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good. Jumbi. Chadu. Kunye. Excellent. Let's move on to modified front stance. Jumbi. Keeping your feet one shoulder apart. Step your right leg back one and a half shoulder widths. Or one shoulder width, sorry. Looks like you're standing on two corners of a square. Bend your back knee, pick the back heel up. Put your hands by your face. Now remember, if you look down, the foot you see is your front foot. Put your hands down, the hand touching that foot is your front hand. We're gonna do front hand punch, back hand punch. On my count. Front hand punch, back hand punch. Ready? One. Use your hips to put power into the punches. When you, when you do the front hand punch, your hips open this way. We do the back hand punch, your hips open this way. The hands come back to the face. Ready? One. Two, sideways until the end. Three, arm is sideways, arm is sideways. Four, five, keep your back heel off the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine. See how my belt is swinging? Your hips should do that too. Ten, up change. Same thing, ready? Front hand punch, back hand punch. Look down, that's your front leg. The hand touching is your front hand. That one punches first. Ready? Looking at you, Julian. Ready? One. Good. Two. Riley, use your hips more. Ready? Three. Rotate. Four. Keep your back heel off the ground. Five. Come back to your face, not your belt. Six. Seven. Eight. Turn your shoulders and body, but not your head. Your head stays where it is. Nine. Ten. Up change. Lead hand hook punch. So we're going to swivel, and the flag's going to come down. We did this a couple of classes ago, so I'm not going to go over a long review of the hook punch. On my count, swivel the toes, and hook punch with the face. Ready? Other hand stays up. Pretend I'm about to slap you. You hook punch and drop this other hand. This hand stays here. 
does not drop down. Ready? One, two, my right heel's off the floor. Three, my left heel's off the floor. And I go back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up change. Same thing. Back heel's off the floor. Swivel the toes. The right heel's off the floor. Swivel back so the left is off. The right hand, the front hand goes from the face to here. Like that. Ready? One, two, three. Eyes forward. Four. The body rotates, the head doesn't. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm changed. Now we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to do jab, jab, cross, jab. So jab, back, front hand punch, back, front hand punch, back hand punch, front hand punch. So front, front, back, front. I would say it, ready? Front, front, back, front. Say one more time. Front, front, back, front. Ready on my count. One, two, three. Four, front, front, back, front. Five. Same hips move, yours should too. Up change. Look down, front leg, front hand. Ready? Front, front, back, front. Same thing, ready? One, front, front, back, front. Two, three, four. Come back to the face. Not the chest, not the nipples. Ready? Four. Five. Good. I'm change. Jab, cross, jab, lead leg, double front kick. So look down, stump. That foot's going to do two front kicks after the jab, cross, jab, the front, back, front. Hands up. So front, back, front. Front leg, front kick, twice. Ready? Together, front hand, back hand, front hand, back to the face, front leg, one, two, back to a modified front stance. So you're here, when you punch, when you kick, the heel goes down and the leg comes up. And then when you come back to your punches, you come back to here. Ready, hands up. One, front, back, Front, kick, kick, back. Two, front, back, front. Front leg kick, front leg kick, and back. Don't kick with the back leg. Ready? Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Up change. Look down. See that foot? That's your front foot. Stomp it. The hand touching it, that's your front hand. That one's punching first, and that leg's kicking. Ready? Front hand, back hand, front hand, front leg. One, two, down. The whole thing. Ready? One. So I'm still using my hips, you use them too. Four. Five. Six. Yes. I'm change. We're going to build up on that. So we're doing jab, cross, jab, front, back, front, lead leg, double front kick. Then we're going to put down, backhand punch, hook, lead leg, Double round kick. So the same leg is doing all the kicks. The leg in the front. Ready? Hands up. Together. Look down that front leg. That's the front hand. Front hand, back hand, 
front hand, kick, kick, other hand, back hand, swivel hook. Now, same leg as the front kick, pick it up, round kick, round kick, and back. Everyone got it? One more time, let's do it together. Front hand, back hand, front hand, front leg, kick one, kick two, back hand, swivel hook, round kick, round kick, and back, pivot on those round kicks, or else it'll be a <laughs> kick. And you don't want to do <laughs> kicks by not pivoting. If you forget, if you can't remember to pivot, watch my music video. I posted it on this page. It's so bad, it'll help you remember how to pivot because the, the badness will stick in your head. Ready? One. If you swivel the hips with that hook, the round kicks will be much easier. Ready? Three. Four. Five. Good. Hop change. Same thing this side. Look down, front foot, front hand. That hand punches first, that leg does all the kicks. That one, and what do you see when you look down? Hands up, together once. Front, back, front, front leg kick one, kick two, back hand punch, swivel hook, same leg, round kick one, round kick two, and back. Ready? The whole Sequence. Ready? One. Two. Hands up. Don't let your hands drop when you kick. Ready? Three. Four. Last one, ready? Keep them up the whole time. Five. Jumbi. Check it. I'm gonna check questions really quick. Catch your breath. Breathe deeply. Keep moving. All right. Parnov's in. Mr. Bonus is in. Front, front, back, front. Exactly, Mr. Bonus. The roughs are in. Oh, this is getting to be a hardcore class up in here. If you came in late, just a reminder, take a minute whenever I give you a break and grab an object to balance on your foot. This is a, an edger for painting the edges of walls. It's clean. This is an empty box from uh, my uh, uh, DVD burner. So either of those will be balanced on your foot or a plastic cup with some Legos in it, whatever you have at your house, but when you drop it, it will break because you might drop it. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's work on lead leg hook kick. Jumbi, take your right leg, step it back, make an L stance, hands up. Look down, stop, that's your front leg, lead leg, hook kick. In like a side kick, diagonal, pull through, bend, pull back, put it down, unpin it. What is the biggest mistake I see when people hook kick? It's a toss up, there's two. The first biggest mistake I see is people do diagonal, pull up, pull through, bend, and pull back at the same time. So they never finish the pull through before they pull back. So they bend, pull through, and pull back at the same time, skipping the full pull through. So they do this as opposed to this. So make sure you're not guilty of that. The second thing I see is people drop their leg on the reach chamber. They do the hook kick nicely, then they drop the knee down to pull it back like that, like a little swoosh. Don't do that. Pretend that there's an obstacle, like this chair, in your way. So if you drop your leg before you fully rechamber, then uh, you're going to bonk your leg on the chair and get a big thigh bruise. Also, don't forget to pivot, but uh, I feel like I said that one to death. But I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> I hate dead horses. 
which is a reference to the, the, the old uh, saying, uh, don't beat a dead horse or you're beating a dead horse. Like I'm saying, pivot over and over again. Anyway, pivot, ready? Uh, if you have a chair like this, it doesn't have to put it in front of you. Now let's dance, lead leg hook kick. Ready? One, just one. Two, pivot. Three, chamber, re-chamber. In, hook, in. Four, keep your hands up. Five, six, seven, eyes on your target. Don't look behind you. Eight, nine, ten. Up change, other leg. Make an L stance, lead leg hook kick. In and pivot. Diagonal, pull through, bend, pull back, put it down, unpin it. Keep those hands up. Maybe I'll make another music video called Keep Your Hands Up, or you'll get a face bruise. Keep your hands up or you'll get a face bruise. Keep your hands up or you'll get a face bruise. I'll hit you in the face if you drop your hands. Something like that. So if you don't want me to do that, keep your hands up. Ready? And then I promise I won't. One. Two, are your hands up? Right, yes, we have a chance. My hands are up. Three, or if someone in your house doesn't have their hands up, tell me, be a tattletale. Four, five, six, seven, breathe when you can. Eight, nine, Hands up. Ten. Good. Jumbi. Try it. Kunye. <clears throat> Let's move on to our side kicks. <laughs> we'll do ten regular. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little stretching first, and then we'll we'll do our side kicks balancing. So I'm gonna swing my arms in a circle here. Ceiling is low, so I'm gonna kneel. Ready? Hands up. Circles forward. Good, big dynamic circles. Now, pull your hair backwards and slap your butt with one arm, then the other. As you feel a pull right here in the shoulder, get a nice long range of motion. Lead with your elbow. Arm to the side, crisscross. You can switch them back and forth if you want, or you can leave them, palm, uh, leave them uh, the same way every time. Palms up. You'll feel the stretch a little different if your palms are up. And good. Grab one wrist with the other. Don't move your feet, don't move your head. Swing your arms from side to side. We're stretching at the back. Now dynamic stretches are not to increase flexibility. They're to harness the flexibility you already have. So don't expect to get more flexible by doing stretches like these. These will make it so you don't injure yourself going to the maximum current range of motion you have. They won't increase it. So this is a good warm up. Hands on your hips, big circles. A good warm up for your muscles to get them into range so you don't injure yourself. But you need to do more static or uh, isometric stretching at the end of class. Other way, at the end of your workout. So dynamic before, isometric and status after. Static, status. Feet together, knees bent, big circles. <coughs> big circles. Good. Other way. <clears throat> Straight legs, reach down. Feet apart just a little bit. Now, roll up. Hands behind your back, arch backwards. Look up at the sky. Thrust your pelvis forward. Lean forwards again. Feel the hamstring stretch. Feel the calf stretch. Let yourself hang low. Then the knees roll up. Again, arch backwards. One more time. Forwards down. Then the knees roll up. Arch backwards. Good. Now, and this one isn't a very dynamic stretch but I always want to touch on the splits, especially before we do side kicks. So, legs apart, hands on the floor, 
Slide your feet as far as you can go. It should be uncomfortable, but not painful. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Take one toe and one toe only, or so one foot, and point the toes up. Leave the other toes down, the other foot down. Good. Now switch. Put that toe back down, that foot back down, and point the toes, the other foot up. Both toes down. And go ahead and stand up. <clears throat> the time has come, my young warriors. And slightly older warriors. Grab your chair. Grab a wall, the back of a couch, what have you. A super sturdy uh, person who's not training with you. One hand on the chair, bar, couch. I'm going to say bar because that's what I have in school. Right here. This is a chair, bar, whatever. Your closest foot to it, pivot. So my left hand is grabbing the chair. My left foot is pivoting. Right foot, the knee is coming along with the sternum. The heel points towards the target. We're just going to do 10. My count. We're going to do slow motion. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do that five times. Ready? Stay with me. Ready? Let's go. One, one, two, three, four, five. Back in. Two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Back in. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it up. Three, extend. One. Two, three, four, five. Back in. One, two, three, four, five. Four, extend. One, two, three, four, five. Back in. Two, three, four, five. Don't drop it. Last time. Keep your heel pointed towards your target. Extend. One, two, three, four, five. Back in. Two, three, four. Four, five, and put it down. Let's do the other side. <clears throat> Ready? Pivot your foot so your big toe points in the opposite direction from that in which you intend to kick. Your kicking butt cheek should point towards your target. You're my target for, for right now, so I'm pointing my butt cheek towards you, my heel towards you. Hands up. This knee stays slightly higher than this foot. Sometimes a little even. Uh, can be close to even, but slightly higher. Never lower. Ready? Extend one, two, three, four, five. Lock it out all the way. Pull back two, three, four, five. Two, extend one, two, three, four, five. It's straight. Pull back two, three, four, five. Extend two, three, four, five. Pull back, two, three, four, five. Four, extend, two, three, four, five. Pull back, two, three, four, five. Last one, keep it up. Heel towards the target, stay with me. Extend, one, two, three, four, five. Lock it out, toes sideways, hips turned over. Hand up, pull back, two, Three, four, five. Put it down. Awesomeness. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> we're going to add the sidekick to the V drill before we balance Shizzle McNiznat on our foot. Does everyone here remember the V drill? I'm going to assume that my students do. And if you were here in the last class or two classes ago that I did, we did the V drill. So I'm going to take my belt and make a V on the floor. The letter V. So I'm standing at the tip like this. A V, like a peace sign. Now let's pretend the belt is a flight of geese. They're aiming right towards me where I'm standing. So the front goose, the front of the arrow, front of the V is pointing towards me. I'm going to step my left leg back or my right leg back, make an L stance. My hands are up. Remember the sequence. Step out, the back foot swings towards the butt, round out. The back foot steps back. The back foot rounds out. And then remember, yes, uh, uh, yesterday we covered switching sides. Front leg to back leg, back leg in. So my back leg is my left leg. It steps out. Then the right leg follows my butt, round out to here, not past here. 
The back leg steps back to the tip. The new back foot swings towards my bum bum. Uh, right foot steps back, left foot steps in. The whole sequence together, we do it uh, three times, uh, both sides three times, so six times total. Step out, round out. Step back, round out. Step away, step in. Step out, round out. Step back, round out. Step away, step in. Now, if you don't get this, or you're confused, or you want more details, pause this video, go to YouTube, and look at my Taekwondo footwork tutorial. Again, uh, under Simon Schur, Taekwondo footwork tutorial, it'll come up as a picture of me standing like this, with a laser beam shooting on my belly button, it'll be explained in the video. Basically, don't show your belly button towards the center of the V, as if your beloved grandmother is in the middle of the V, and you're shooting a laser beam out of your belly button. Never point towards your grandmother. Ready? Two, step out, round out, step back, round out, step away, step in, step out, round out, step back, round out, step away, step in. Last set, ready? Step out, round out, step back, round out, step away, step in, back leg, step out, round out, back leg, step back, round out, step away, step in. Now we're going to add the side kicks. I'm going to move this over a little bit because I'm a bit close to my wall there. Feel free to adjust yourselves too. After having just done that, maybe you're too close to your brother or sister or couch or TV or pet antelope. Ready? Step out. Round out. Freeze. Front leg. Side kick. In, out, in, down. Now, put it back down right where it was. Your back foot steps back. Round out. Step away. Step in. Step out. Round out, stop. Look down, front foot, side kick. Right to the center of the V. Put it back down where it was. Back foot, step back. Round out, step away, step in. Back foot, step out. Round out, front leg, side kick. Put it down where it was. Back foot, step back. Round out, step away, step in. Back foot, step out. Round out, front leg, side kick. Put it down where it was. Back leg, step back. Round out. Step away, step in, back leg, step out, round out, front leg, side kick, put it down where it was, back leg, step back, round out, step away, step in, back leg, step out, round out, front leg, side kick, put it down where it was, back leg, step back, round out, step away, step in, one more round. Step out, round out, side kick, down, step back, round out, step away, step in, step out, round out, side kick, down, step back, round out, step away, step in, and freeze. Good. Now, we're going to alter this V-drill. Um, let me uh, check to see if anyone has any questions here before we keep going. Ah, good to have you back, uh, Ruffs. Sorry about the Facebook error. I'm, uh, this will be posted live, so feel free to rewind, and I enabled rewind. All right, and my Instagram peeps, any questions what we're doing? All right, so everyone's good. Let's keep going. Jumbi, right leg back, L stance, double guarding, just like before. First step is the same, step out. Now the back foot, just make sure you step all the way to the tip of your V, so you make a nice, long, modified front stance. In fact, your back foot steps out into a regular size front stance, then the back foot slides in a little bit. Then your back foot shifts into the middle. Then we're just like we did the hook punch, swivel inward. So your belly button is facing towards the V. Your grandmother's not there anymore. Your new back foot will swing towards your butt, back to the tip, then front leg to the back leg together, so now you're outside the V, and back to exactly where you started. Let's do that again, ready? Step out and slide. Back foot shift, swivel. Back foot swings towards your butt, round out. The foot in the V, Steps together with the back foot. Then the back foot steps back out. Again together, then we'll go a little faster. Step out, back foot shift, swivel. Back foot towards your butt, back to your fighting stance in the middle of the V. V foot, the front foot, steps together. The right foot, the back foot steps back. Right steps out, left shift, swivel. Right round out, left step back, right step back. Hands up. Ready? Step out, shift swivel, round out, back back. Step out, shift swivel, 
Round out, back, back. Now, do a step away, step in. Front leg to the back leg, back leg in. So now the right leg's in front. Take your left leg on the back, long step out, back foot shift in, swivel towards the middle of the V. Your back foot swings towards your butt, round out. The foot in the middle of the V steps together with your back foot. Your back foot steps out. Let's do this side one more time. Back foot steps out, back foot shifts in, swivel, back foot rounds out, the foot of the V steps out together, and then the back foot steps back. So left foot step out, right foot shift in, swivel, left foot rounds out, right foot steps together, left foot steps back. Step away, step in, other legs in front. Let's put that all together. Step out, shift, swivel. Round out, back, back, step away, step in. Step out, shift, swivel. Round out, back, back, step away, step in. Step out, shift, swivel. Round out, back, back, step away, step in. Step out, shift, swivel. Round out, back, back, step away, Step in. Everyone got this? If you don't got it, or you're just kind of struggling with it, pause the video, and then practice it a little bit until you feel comfortable. Then come back and press, come back and press play, and we're going to move on to the next step involving the hands. So pause if you need to. If not, follow along with me. Hands are up. So my left hand's going to punch first, my front hand. So I'm going to step out and punch. My target is the middle of the V right here. So I'm punching diagonally from my shoulders. My hips go this way. Shift in. Swivel, hook punch. Again, the target's in the same place, right here in the center of the V. Don't go past it, right here. My back foot rounds out, and I punch again with the left hand. Back, back, step away, step in. Back foot step out, right hand punch. Shift, swivel, left hand hook punch. Left leg round out, right hand jab. Front hand punch. Back, back, step away, step in. Step out and punch. Shift, swivel, hook. Round out, front hand punch. Back, back, step away, step in. Left leg step out, right hand punch. Right leg shift, left hand hook punch. Left leg round out, right hand punch. Back, back, step away, step in. Everyone got that? Let's go a little faster. A little faster now. Down, 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 and back. So the, the swivels happen on the down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, back, back. From the face. One more time. Good. Jumbi. Kunye. Now, we're done with the V drill for today, but we're going to use elements of it in the next couple of drills. So, if you took off your belt, to uh, do this, you can put it back on. If you have some objects laid out on the floor, to mark your V, you can move them. If you put tape down on the floor, leave it for next time, because this is the not, not the last time we're going to use the V. All right. We're going to go back to the side kicks. Now, this will probably take me less time than it takes you. So, again, you may want to pause the video. <clears throat> Pivot your foot, hold on to your chair, bar, wall, whatever, and chamber your side just like we did before. Take the box and put it on top of your foot like this. You can extend it and pull it back 10 times without dropping it. If you drop it, you have to pick it up and start over. I want 10 in a row. So if I finish both legs and you're still going, you can either pause, uh, do this later, you have to do it, or you can pause the video and do it now. Your choice. <clears throat> Ready? I'm chambered, knees in my chest, foot's flat. And if it's falling off, it's because your toes are up, you're dropping your foot, you're dropping your leg, you're dropping your foot out when you extend, or your knee's going below your toes. Those are the main reasons. Sometimes because you're opening up your hip, but that's your knee coming up. So you gotta hold a good side kick position for this to work. Ready? One, two, if you kick fast, it might not work. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now to the other side. All right, ready? I'm gonna do it towards the, the camera so you guys can see better. I'm pivoting, I'm shambling, putting the box upon my foot. Ready, and one, two, three. Oh, I dropped it, because I picked my knee up. Not to start over, shucks. I guess you drop it, you have to start over too, so it's only fair. Chamber, box. One up, oh, I did it again. I'm so embarrassed. One, two, three. Oh, I dropped my knee. That's what made a fall. Can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, keep my hand up. Look where you're kicking. Eight, nine, ten. Yay! I finished ten. Awesome sauce, banana pants. <clears throat> All right. So, like I said before, pause the video and finish this drill if you want. Take your time. This is a great drill. Uh, if your sidekick is not uh, in control, you're not in control of all the elements, of all the extension, the pullback, the whole time, then the box or cup or whatever will fall off more. Having this on there is like uh, having an instructor standing right there telling you every single time your kick goes off course. And that uh, will, he'll tell you by the box falling off your foot. So, uh, you know, really focus on not dropping the box. It forces you to bring your full attention to the kick. Super useful. So uh, do this either now or later. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do is we're going to work on a technique called the ridge hand. <clears throat> so uh, we've done techniques all the way through red belt. So now uh, we're going to work on some black red belt pattern techniques. All right. So uh, Jumi, take your right leg, step back, make a front stance. Front leg bent, back leg straight, toes to the front. You're not on a tight rope. You're on train tracks. Now take your right hand. Make a chop like this, a knife hand. Now take the thumb and pull it in as far as it'll go. Try to touch your pinky finger. So it looks like this. You're hitting with this. We're going to start palm up, come in, and then flip into the target like this. So we have rotation and we have flip strike. So that flip adds to the overall momentum of the strike. The arm is not going to be straight when we strike. It'll be slightly bent. Like that. All right. <clears throat> so we're in a front stance. Right leg in the back, left leg in the front. The right hand is just in front of the shoulder, so you never go behind the shoulder. This muscle should never be pulled tight. It's here, palm up, thumb tucked in. This hand is going to be out. It's going to pull back to the fist, while the back hand shoots out right in front of the shoulder and strikes. So chamber, left leg hand extends, right hand to the side, palm up. Pull this fist back. At the same time, it's striking to the front with this hand. Ready? One, two, chamber, strike. Striking to the side of the head, so keep the elbow bent, head level, ready? Three, fingers together, pinkies in. Four, five, six, seven. It's almost like you're taking a pizza and throwing it at somebody, ready? Eight, nine, if you extend the elbow all the way, it's going to hurt your elbow with this kind of technique. So keep the elbow bent just a little bit. Nine, ten, up change. Put your arms out, left hand, the one touching your back leg, pull the thumb in, hold the palm up to the side. Take the hand on your front, front leg side, your right hand, extend out in front of you. That hand's going to pull back now. This hand is going to flip in right here. 
So on my count, chamber, strike, bridge hand, strike, reverse bridge hand, strike. One, two, three, four, right there. See my arms are straight out, it's better just a little bit, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Stepping back, Jim B. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's do a turning bending stance. Just that's it. Turning bending stance on my count. So, Jim B. Take your right leg, step it back, make a front stance. Put out your right hand punch. You're gonna grab your bag over your left shoulder, like we do a step double knife. Try that. Grab your bag, step, L stance, double knife. Go back. Ready? Step, grab your bag behind you, L stance, double knife. Everyone's got that? So your hands reach to your left, past your front leg. Step, make an L stance, double knife. Good. Same thing now, instead of putting the foot down, we're gonna tuck it in, bending stance, double guarding. A bending stance is basically you're on one leg. It's kind of like a passe in ballet, but you're in a demi-plie and the standing foot is bent. That's for you, abs. <laughs> Ready? Turning, bending foot guarding. Swing your leg forward, grab your bag, double guard it. And back. Ready? The whole sequence on one count. One. And back. Two. And back. Three. And back. Four. And back. Five. And back. Good. Hop change. So now we're going to reach over our left shoulder and grab our bag. That's our chamber for the double knife or double guarding. Put your fourth step. L stance, double guarding. Go back. Ready? Reach over your right shoulder. Just to the right, past the right leg. Step. L stance, double guarding. Good. Now instead of putting it down in an L stance, we do a bending stance. Ready? Step, hands up. Bending stance, guarding. And back. Ready? We're doing like a pirouette on the dawn. Ready? Except we're stopping. Uh, 10 degrees in. Step, grab your bag, double guarding. And back. The whole thing, ready? One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Excellent. Hub change. Same thing, the bending stance, we're going to add a side kick. We're not going to come back to a bending stance. After the side kick, we just go back to a front stance. So we're here. Left leg's in the back, left punch is out. Ready? Grab my bag over my right side, bring my leg forward, L stance, bending stance. Or L left leg, bending stance. My leg is lifted, my left leg is going to side kick. In and pivot, out, in, and then back, and stick out your punch. Ready? One. <laughs> Ready? Two. So two separate moves. Bending stance, then pivot chamber and side kick. In fact, have a chair in front of you like this. So I'm here. Ready? Three. This is a great way to avoid making that mistake. Ready? Four. One more. Ready? Five. Up change. So have that obstacle in front of you, so you have to chamber higher before you extend. Pick that foot up before you extend. Ready? You don't want to extend into, ow, into your target like that. I did that on purpose to show you why, what will go wrong if you extend the wrong way. Yeah, on purpose. Ready? Right leg's back. One. Bending stance guarding. Full chamber, pivot, side kick. But angulate and back. Ready? Two. See how my hips turned over there? Three. Four. Five. And Jumbi. Try it. Kunye. Well done, everybody. Ah, that was fun.
Now, let's stretch. Kneel down before me. Thusly. Nod your head forward and backwards. <clears throat> Turn your head from side to side. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left. Tilt your ear to your shoulder, but don't bring your shoulder up to your ear. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Roll your shoulders backwards. Big circles. Now, a lot of people want to duck out when we start doing stretches. I see some people might want to sign off, go the other way. But none of you are as flexible as you should be. Any of you. So all of you need these stretches, even if they're boring, they're not as exciting as kicks, chops, punches, and beating up bad guys. Do the stretches. Don't cut out early. Pull your arm across your chest, pull it in. Now, if you don't feel the stretch, push it more. If it hurts, don't go that far. Neither of those complaints are good. Switch. And if it's boring, who gives a rat's patoot? Suck it up. Do it anyway. Not everything is fun. Put your hand behind your head. Grab your elbow and pull it over your shoulder. Feel free to pull, put some music on in your house if you want to always stretch. You can listen to Spice Girls or Beethoven's Fifth or Switch. Something by Lord, like Queen Bee Song or something that's cool now. But stay here and stretch with me. Keep your chin off your chest. Interlace your fingers. Press down and out. Lift your hands up, press your palms to the sky. Make a big circle. Grab your hands together behind your back, lift up, chest forward. Make a habit of joining in with stretching every day. If you don't do it with me, do it by yourself. Stick your legs out in front of you. And if you're not sure what stretches to do, just open up one of, one of these videos and, uh, and just do the stretch test section with me if you need to. Or go to my YouTube channel and do martial arts stretching tutorial or stretches for the martial arts. Take your left leg, pick it up, cross it over your right. The right leg is straight. Take your left hand, your bent leg hand, grab the ankle. Your right hand, grab the left toes. So the straight hand, grab the bent leg toes. Big circles. Stretch out that ankle. Go the other way. Big circles. Good. Now take your hand, punch your foot. Stimulate the nerves in the foot. Get the blood flowing. Give yourself a little foot rub. Get in there deep. Push through the muscle. See if you can touch the bones through the foot. Rub through them. Ah, oh, it feels good. I don't get enough foot massages. Well, I do one every day by myself, so I guess that's fine. All right, bend your toes forwards one at a time. Pinky toe forwards, ring toe forwards, middle toe forwards, pointer toe forwards, big toe forwards. And then switch backwards, big toe backwards, pointer toe backwards, middle toe backwards, ring toe backwards, pinky toe backwards. Toes apart, one, other next set, two, next set, three, try to do some toe splits, next set, four, and then lengthen the toes, pull them out. Pull the next toes out, make them get longer. Next toes out, next set out, next set out, and good. Switch legs. Believe it or not, this stretch makes me feel the most stretched out of any of the other stretches that we do. Ankle ball, big circles. This foot stretch just loosens up everything in my whole body. In Kung Fu and a lot of Chinese martial arts, they believe that uh, there's nerves in your foot that connect to every part of your body. By pressing certain areas in your foot, you can relax your sphincter or, <laughs> okay, relax your bladder. No, wait, I'm kind of tight, uh, going one area here. Relax your neck, your shoulders, your pectoral muscles, your stomach, your kidneys. Other way. The point is that uh, we're engaging the whole body through our feet. 
All right, punch your foot. Stimulate the nerves. Get the blood flowing. Get the blood going. Good. Give yourself a foot rub. Get in there deep. Good. Push through the muscles. Push through the skin. Nice. All right. Bend the toes forwards one at a time. One pinky toe, ring toe, middle toe, pointer toe, big toe. Bend them backwards one at a time. Big toe, pointer toe, middle toe, ring toe, pinky toe. Then pull your toes apart. One set, toe splits. Two set, three set, four set. Now pull your toes out one at a time. Make them longer. Pull out one. Oh, yeah. Ring toe. Middle toe. Pointer toe. Big toe. All right. So my piggy toe just did a major pop. It was awesome. Put your feet in a circle. Toe clap. Lie backwards. Put your hands behind your head. Pull your chin up to your chest, stretching your neck and upper back. Good. I'm going to go over to a wall here so my hands don't slide. You don't have to. Put your hands next to your ears, palms down, elbows up. Point your fingers towards your shoulders. Put your feet flat on the floor. You guessed it. We're going to a bridge. So push your pelvis up. Push your hands and shoulders up and arch your back as much as you can, pushing your weight towards your hands more than your feet. Ready? Push up. Breathe. down. Yay! Put your feet in a circle. Cross your right foot over your left knee. Right here. Take your left hand, point across your body, and put your left elbow against your right knee. Push on it and look over your right shoulder. Now, it's hard for me to give non right left directions over the webcam here. I can try, but it would also help if you knew your right from your left. And even if you do know, if you're able to remember easily. So don't be embarrassed. A lot of people have issues with the right and their left while they're moving in obtuse angles like this. So if you just write an R on your right hand and an L on your left hand, then you'll know which one's which. And you can uh, re reference it really easily. Okay, so left leg at the L here and twist. Just a little tip. I didn't learn my right from my left until the beginning of uh, the end of middle school, the middle of middle school. And uh, even then I had a hard time. So I always wore a watch on my right hand. So I knew my watch hand was my right hand. Switch. <clears throat> Put your left leg over your right. Take your right hand, put it behind your left knee. Cross your body, look over your left shoulder. <clears throat> In fact, it wasn't until I really started to teach martial arts that I really got down my left and right because I had to give them as instructions a lot. So it forced me to learn them quickly. Twist. Rotate that vertebra centripetally. In fact, I always had an, an, a, digital, a digital watch, so I never learned how to uh, tell a, an analog clock until French class in high school, where we had to, uh, on the French test, uh, put your feet in a circle, pull your belly button forward. Uh, on the French test, we had to tell the time in French, but all the questions gave the times with a picture of a clock. <laughs> so I failed my French test, 
And for the re-exam, re I had to learn how to tell time on that kind of clock. I mean, it was really easy when I said that I did it, but I just never bothered. So uh, that's kind of a tangent. Anyway, pull yourself forward. Oh, I remember what I was going. The digital watch helped me tell my right from my left, but it stopped me from learning how to uh, tell time on an analog clock. Line your side, pull your foot backwards towards your butt. <clears throat> Switch. <clears throat> Good. Stick one leg out in front of you, bend the other. Reach your hands towards your extended leg. <clears throat> Switch legs and pull forward. <clears throat> now I was talking to some people who are having issues with stretching. They're talking about uh, having ripped muscles or injured muscles all the time from stretching. And it's because they're too gung-ho. When you stretch, you don't want to be in pain. You could be like here, it's like, I can go a bit further than this. Ah! Jean-Claude Van Damme did it in kickboxer and blood sport. I can get my splits right now. If you do that, you're going to break yourself. Don't do that. So always go forward slowly and steadily. Stop when you're uncomfortable. Breathe deeply, relax your muscles. Legs are here. Walk hands forward. Good. Come back up. Go to one side. <clears throat> Think about stretching kind of like trying to drain an eggshell of yolk without cracking it. You have to make that little hole very carefully, and then you have to kind of blow into it so that the egg spills out slowly and carefully. And you grab the shell, it's gone. Other side. So you want to go to the point where you're uncomfortable but not in pain. Remember, pain is bad when you stretch. Okay? Even burning pain. It should be a slight pull, a slight discomfort. But pain will injure you. Bring your legs in. Squat down. That's what pain is for. It's to tell your body when to stop. So burn. that's why we're talking about good pain versus bad pain. Burning pain from muscles is good pain. Tearing, ripping, pulling pain is bad pain. Go back on one knee. Extend, hands, slide. <clears throat> so it shouldn't be easy or comfortable, but it, it should not be painful. <clears throat> Switch legs. <clears throat> Kneel, extend, hands, slide. Open your legs side to side. Let's go with regular center splits. Legs apart, hands on the floor. Slide apart until you're good. You're uncomfortable, not in pain. Oh, that hurts, you're going too far. You guys get the gist. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Go ahead and stand up, shake yourself out, and let's call it a day and bow out. Face me, chin up, kunye. Tenets of Taekwondo, Sijuk. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit, sir. Student of Sijuk, sir. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect instructors and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world, sir. Face me, chenyo, kunye. Face other people in your house or yourself, chenyo, kunye. You guys did an amazing job today. I'm really proud of all of you.